What is up guys, Gabe here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna take a look at drone photos. So as you may know, if you follow my videos, I recently got a DJI Mavic Pro. So today I wanted to show you guys how I edit those drone photos that I post on my Instagram, show you the process, uh, show you what I like to do with the files, how I get the files looking so sharp and so crisp because some of you have asked me, how do you get your drone photos to look so sharp? So I'm gonna teach you that today as well. We're of course gonna create a preset together and it's gonna be available for download like on every other video. So that's it and without any more talking, let's jump right into this video. So we're here in Lightroom and this is a drone shot that I picked for us to edit. Let's go right here into the develop and take a look at it. Now, as you can see this shot, there's not much here, but we're gonna make it look a little bit better. One thing with the drone shots is that, you know, this is uh, looking pretty sharp, but it's not super, super sharp or super clear. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna correct that in a little bit. So first things that I always like to do with my images, as you know, is straighten it out just a tiny bit, I think. Uh, this picture was uh, pretty straight so we're gonna go ahead and do that so there we go next thing that we're gonna do is apply just a simple preset so let's go over here let's see what we have let's pick a random VSEO filter and start playing around with it we're just gonna go with this first one um, S 400 H plus one whatever that means and as you can tell there's not much there it looks a little bit overly exposed so what we're gonna do right now is take that exposure down maybe bring a little bit into those shadows to make it look a little bit more balanced definitely take the highlights down uh, about a hundred percent I find that um, specifically with the the Mavic going a little bit extreme on the on the sliders is perfectly fine uh, specifically when it comes to um, sharpening and clarity and all that so uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and bump up the clarity here so you can get some detail here on all these little things that we have going on in the picture. Um, let's leave it there for now, see, we see what happens, 69. Didn't do that on purpose, <laughs> I swear. All right, um, what else, what else? Let's fix that white balance, make it look a little bit more sunset-ish because it was sunset. Let's bring that white balance all the way to there. Maybe add a little bit of pink. Um, see what else we want to do with this image. Definitely, I want to go and hit the profile corrections here to make the image a little bit more, more straight, especially here in the bottom. You can take a look at it. Uh, another thing that we can do with this is definitely add some sharpening and don't be afraid to add a lot of sharpening. I found that my pictures really come to life when you add that sharpening, if you can take a look here, this is without the sharpening, which kind of looks a little bit dull coming out of the drone. And now with the sharpening, you can definitely get that detail in there. So a lot of people always ask me how I get my drone shots to look that detailed. And it's because I go crazy with the sharpening and also with the clarity slider. Um, I like to play with my blues, as you know, so I'm gonna bring, bring these there i'm actually going to desaturate the blues for this one right about there just so that we can get rid of all that blue cast that the shadow had going on and now i'm going to take the yellow slider pass it to the oranges because that's what i like to do with my shots and as you can tell it's looking pretty good um i don't want to add any split toning to this image or this filter that we're doing here I want to leave it as clean as possible so that you guys could play around with it um, when you try it by yourselves. Definitely getting more warm in there. Now, I think I'm almost done with this. It's a quick edit, I know, but that's just how I like to treat my my drone shots, you know, quick and dirty. Uh, let's add some contrast here. I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I don't like is this part right here, the green, the ocean. I want to change the color of the ocean to something more of my taste. And we're going to do that by adding a lot of blue in there and just seeing what happens. So with this brush, 
I'm gonna paint over the water like so. Maybe a little bit more blue. And I'm gonna hit the O button on my keyboard. And that's gonna bring the layer mask so that I know where I'm painting. And I'm just gonna go through this like so. Definitely I wanna bump up the saturation in that area. Something like this is what I was looking for. Last touch would be to add some type of interest coming in from this side, which could resemble a sun flare. So we're gonna go ahead and bump up the yellows on this side. Bump a little bit of the exposure up, not so much. Drag this thing in, make it look like that sun is like just piercing through the buildings. And that's it. That's my finished edit. And let me show you the before. We started out with a shot that looked like this. And now we've ended up with a shot that looks like this. And, and that's the before. This is the after. And I think it looks pretty good. And that is it, guys. That's how I like to, for now, edit my drone photos for the DJI Mavic Pro. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the preset that we created together. Download it. Use it, tag me so that I know that you're using it and that I can see your work. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss future videos coming out. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next video.